This could be either the most dangerous or the most useful knot you could know. Maybe even both. Known as the constrictor hitch, this knot has the ability to lock down on an object with immense force. And once tightened, this knot is capable of binding up so strong that it can be nearly impossible to get loose. But don't let that completely deter you because it does have some incredible and practical uses. One of the huge advantages of this knot is that once it's tied, both ends are going to be able to move freely. So you could continue on and tie something else or you could cut them off closed and it acts as a secure tie. As seen here, it's used as a stopper at the end of a rope so it doesn't completely unravel. Or on this bungee cord where you could fold the line back on itself and then secure it as a stopper. And in one of my favorite ways, if your grommet has ripped out of your tarp, you could do the same, fold it back on itself, tie that constrictor hitch, and now you have a new attachment point. And it doesn't stop there. You could also use it for securing up a bag or pouch that doesn't have any type of closure on it, bundling up a bunch of sticks together, whether that's for yard work or using it as a bushcraft broom. You could even use it as a temporary bottle cap. Just put some material on the bottle lid and use the constrictor to hold it firmly in place. Or tie two constrictors onto the same rope and then cinch both of them down on an object or tool, and that creates a pretty good loop that some people like for leverage or to hang a tool, or you could use the whole thing as a grab handle for pulling objects. Now I have a few more really cool tricks and uses to show you, but first, here's how to tie it. We start by wrapping our rope around our object. As you bring the rope up the other side, cross it over, and it's gonna create this X shape. As you continue with your wrap, cross your line over that main rope, and now under the middle of that X shape. Now, as you feed your line all the way through, just grab on both ends and pull tight. Dress the knot, which is putting it perfectly in line, just like this, and now it's gonna cinch up really snug. Now, if you're gonna attempt to undo the knot, you push both of the ends towards itself, and if you're lucky, the whole thing will unravel, but most of the times, in all honesty, this knot is not gonna let go. But fortunately, there is a way to tie this to make it super easy to undo. This is the constrictor hitch with a quick release. We wrap our object, create the X, go all the way around, and now come over our main line. But at this point, we're going to create a bite, which is a fold in the rope, and slide that bite through the center underneath that X. You could crank it tight at this point, and you'll have one end that's completely workable while the other end is fixed. And to apply the quick release, we just pull that loose or tag end as it's called and the whole thing comes completely free. Now, even if you don't have access to the free ends of the rope, you could still tie this knot midline and then slip it over an object just like this. First, take your rope in both hands. Using your right hand, flip your wrist to create an overhand loop, which is a loop in the clockwise direction. Now grab the loop so the ends are going out of opposite sides. And now with your right hand, we're going to do an underhand loop, which is a counterclockwise motion. And then take both of your thumbs and touch them together. And that creates the floating constrictor hitch, which you can put on an object and tighten up without having access to either end. And now as promised, here are a few more of my absolute favorite ways to use this knot. If you're using paracord, you could take the innards out and that'll leave you with this flat sheath. Now this will get you the absolute strongest squeeze with the constrictor hitch. And I personally use it when I'm gonna tie a square lashing. It offers the perfect base for securing a crossbeam. But if you're doing this, just know it's gonna be nearly impossible to take out without cutting your paracord. Also, if you have a tarp and it doesn't have its own center attachment point, you could just make your own by folding a bundle, then add your constrictor hitch that creates the secure loop and you could thread your ridge line through. And if you wanted to lift or string up the edge of your tarp and there's no standing tree around, you could cut down a long branch like this, stick it up vertical, and then tie your constrictor hitch to it. Now fasten that loose end to a rock or something on the ground and it'll hold it perfectly and steadily upright. This is DJ from The Bear Essentials. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed the great outdoors.